The three V's of election-based crowdsourcing project was one conducted by IHUB Research with support from the Canada's International Research and Development Centre. And this was conducted during the um, 2013 Kenyan general elections where we wanted to see whether crowdsourcing, which is really just collecting information from the crowd as they generate it online, was likely to yield worthwhile um, outcomes. And three things, the three V's that we were looking at were validity, viability and verification. Validity was looking at whether such information offers a true depiction of what's actually happening on the ground. Viability was assessing whether it is indeed possible to collect information from what people were sharing and in, in such a case what that information would offer. And the verification aspect was trying to assess whether there are ways to verify information that is collected from the crowd online in near real time and what processes might need to be in place for that. So to conduct the research, we used three distinct um, sources of information, which is um, looking at people's actual social media activity, especially on Twitter, and then also using active crowdsourcing deployments, such as Ushahi did during the election period, where they had made an actual call for people to share information with them. And we also looked at online news media articles as they were shared from traditional media. So we used these are the three key data, data points and data sources, and then collected this data and analyzed to get a sense of who was breaking what news when and what was being shared. One of the key findings was that indeed there was a lot of information that was newsworthy during the election period that was shared by people. Um, most specifically we collected about 2.57 million tweets of which we found 12,000 which were actionable. Actionable being tweets that you'd forward to um, various authorities uh, to act upon based on their mandate. We also found that Twitter broke news and in particular instances, Twitter had news that's very locally relevant but would be news that would probably not be carried by mainstream media. And the third finding was that to assess and to conduct such work, machine learning tools had to be in place to be used. So we have shared these findings and one of the greatest outputs was also a framework that can help other crowdsources to um, try the same project in their different contexts. And we look forward to seeing people do this and build to the case study of election-based crowdsourcing.